and we are back with another review. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Today is a little bit of a review, kind of, but not not necessarily. Um, this is also going to be a uh, an answer video to Conan's easy EDC Easy Dad Carry. He issued a open challenge for an uncommon carry. So uh, I'm going to change up my carry a little bit. I'm going to add a couple things that I don't really ever carry. So uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and see what it is. Let's get into it. All right, all right, all right. So I was walking through Walmart and uh, sorry, it's like super early in the morning. I'm still, <laughs> still waking up. Um, so I was walking through Walmart and uh, I was just kind of looking, I, I wasn't really looking for something to carry, but I always stop by the sporting goods section. I saw this and uh, I had to have it, <laughs> but then I saw this and I thought this was pretty cool. I've already, I've already cut it and opened it and looked at it because uh, yeah, that, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this. So let's, let's start off with this first. Um, this is called obviously the old timer. Uh, but what I am super excited about this for is it's a fixed blade and, uh, I haven't really talked about it a lot on the channel, but I've been kind of on a fixed blade kick lately. Um, I, I, I think, I think I'm going to order the SC Azula in, um, the S35 VN model. I just, I haven't decided yet, but this guy here so it was on sale for 20 bucks let's let's go ahead this is the 15 or excuse me the 152 OT W uh, I know that means absolutely nothing uh, here's the box and I'm pretty I'm pretty sure this is made by Schrade which give it or give it or leave it or take it or leave it so here is the old timer man i saw this thing and i just i had to have it uh it looks like a super glorified steak knife but i love the holster uh the holster looks absolutely awesome um one of the things that sold it to me uh but like i said it's normally like 30 bucks uh this is called the old timer sharp finger and uh so i'm gonna carry this blade it doesn't really tell me a whole lot about it. It just says, when I look it up on the website, the box tells you nothing. It just says that this is a high carbon steel. And that's about it. Uh, it just says saw cut handle slab, <laughs> handle slabs with a lanyard hole. I'll probably add a little bit of a lanyard hole. Um, or add a little bit of a lanyard. Sorry. I'm still waking up. Still waking up. Um yeah I'm I'm super excited about this like I said normal price 30 bucks uh it looks I mean it looks good to me I I didn't and you know they didn't have any left in stock they just had the one on display and I was like well sell me that one and the guy was like okay <laughs> which if anybody could please explain that to me my Walmart they have had I know everybody's going to be like, oh, Kershaw. But they've had this Kershaw leak sitting in the display case at my closest Walmart. And uh, they haven't had a leak in stock in a long, a long, long time. And the dude there just won't sell me the display. He said they're not allowed to. But the Walmart about 30 minutes away sold me their display. So is it like is it like a Walmart's discretion? Um, okay, I'm rambling. Here you go. So here is the old timer sharp finger. Man, I am super, super stoked about this knife. Um, real quick, like I said, this is kind of a review, but not necessarily a review. Uh, so overall length is just cresting seven inches. And uh, we will do a couple of I'm getting ahead of myself. Because like I said, I, I love this knife. Um, so I want to display the, the show side scale. So there you go. It looks big, but it's not that big. Just a little bit bigger than the rat or a little bit smaller than the rat model one. 
Uh, let's do... Oh, my allergy's going crazy today. Uh, so here is the K-Bar 1232. I'll throw out a couple fixed blades so we can see the difference in size here. Um, how about the Cold Steel Mini Tack with the buoy? There we go. And then we will do CRKT Minimalist with the cleaver. <clears throat> and we'll just do like one more. Just so we get just so we get the idea here. Uh how about uh yeah, we'll do this one. <laughs> this is one of my all time favorites. This is the SOG Instinct Mini. I know, I know. It's an awesome knife. I know. Alright. I'm just uh, kind of sheathing a couple of these because having this many open fixed blades sitting right next to my arm when I'm not paying attention to them makes me a little bit nervous. <laughs> uh, review coming on this guy soon, too. Also picked this up at Walmart. Uh, on sale for like 23 bucks. Pretty, pretty good. So, all right, back, back to the old timer. Uh, so my, my summation on that is by looking on the website that it is made by Schrade. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't imply it anywhere on the box or on the knife or anywhere else that I look. Uh, I don't think even if I knew that it would have really, it would have really swayed my opinion. Uh, real, real quick, we'll do, so I want to keep this video short because this is just kind of like a review, but I bought these also because I like them, but, uh, for Conan ZDC Easy Dad Carry for his challenge. So, here is the holster, sheath, whatever you want to call it. So, it's genuine leather so I mean it you know anytime anything says genuine leather it's a low-grade leather but I you know this slides out if you don't want to have because you know of course it's nothing it's not like a kydex fit but see it's not it's not going anywhere there's there's enough to, I mean you know it's not gonna go anywhere there's there's enough tension there to hold it but if you know if it's loosely on a belt loop and you're lean down I don't know if I'd trust it but I'm also not a huge fan of these little the little buttons yeah I don't know we'll see okay so the second thing that I'm gonna carry this thing is super super cool so this was about I don't know like 12 bucks so this is a Victorinox sharpener and it is made in Germany and here you go you can see tag right here uh, I ordered this on Amazon I, I might have accidentally said I bought this from Walmart I don't, I don't remember I ordered this on Amazon um, just like $13 uh, I bought the CRKT minimalist from Walmart with the Schrade or with the uh, old old timer sorry still waking up still waking up give me give me a break okay so this thing is pretty, pretty sweet. Um, so a couple things about this that I have come across other than the made in Germany. Uh, let's do kind of like our, I'm really just gonna take like, here you go. So five and a half inches. And if we put up like say a permanent marker next to it, there you go. I, I literally, literally, that's that's about the size of it. Uh, where is all right? Well, close enough. So, I'm gonna carry this. So if we open it up, got a sharpening stone. <laughs> oh man! So you got a sharpening stone on one side, and if we now now I know I know people normally 
those little V things are crap. Yeah, so this this isn't for sharpening this side. This is actually ceramic, um, and these are for honing. Uh, yeah, and let me tell you, I have used it a couple of times, uh, just fiddling around with it. Where is it? I don't know. Yeah, see, there you go. So I've used the stone a couple of times, and the stone works great. Uh, I have, yeah. Um, I don't know where... I sharpened up a couple of things. Uh, I don't have any of them out. I was looking to see if any of them were in my immediate vicinity. Uh, so, being Victorinox, it is, it's made in Germany. So, it's, uh, I mean, you know, that's, that's pretty nice. Um, and, I mean, that's, that's, that's about all I gotta say about it. Uh, this right here, uh, the little center line, it looks like it's just a groove. It's not, it's for fish hooks. And, I mean, really anything else that you could come across that you'd want to use. This says made in Germany right here. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up. There you go. There's some ceramic stones. This is just a honing stone. So, obviously, this thing works great for, uh, you know, any of your Swiss Army knives. All you do is click them into here, the backside, and then there's your sharpening stone. And really, really all it is, is you just take your knife and you run it across the stone. You do that a few times. You do the other side. Now, I, so I know, you know, I'm not, I'm not one to sharpen knives to myself. Uh, all the videos I watched, even the one from Victorinox has them doing that. Uh, my brain, my brain doesn't really like that. So I kind of hold it way away from me whenever I'm hitting that blade a few times. And then once you ran it a couple times, just pop him back out of the bottom side. Slide it in like this. And then just hold the hold the knife and then run that ceramic honing stone right over it and then it, it does it does a fantastic job I mean I I only ran it a couple times I mean obviously it's not not gonna be sharp 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 but it does work quick and it works well uh, I I have been super 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 impressed with it um, yeah, I mean, now we've got a paper cutting rat. So yeah, that, that little thing works great. Uh, and I actually grabbed the rat because I mean, you've seen me open it and use it quite a bit. And that's the first time I've ever just hit it with a stone and I only did a few passes. So that little thing is awesome. I'm super stoked about it. So, uh, Conan, EDC, Easy Dad, Carry. In response to your open challenge, I am going to be carrying <laughs> my super sweet old timer with my little leather sheath. And I'm going to carry my little Victorinox sharpening stone. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like this is a little, kind of an unusual carry. Um, and for you know, a fixed blade, not so much, but for me, it's an unusual carry because, I mean, you all know what I carry. So I'm going to be carrying that old timer. And uh, yeah, this is this is what I got. So thank you guys so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and uh, consider subscribing. I post as much as I can. Thank you so much for being here. I'll catch you on the next one.